We've got a different kind of lesson in store for you today, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it because it's a very common problem. It's one that a lot of people walk through the door with, um, and we all possess it. Some of us recognise it, some of us don't, um, and it's the yips. And Richard um, was very open, and, I re and thank you very much, Richard, because to share and be so open about this um, this issue is, is amazing because it can destroy you. And by his own admission, Richard said that if this lesson didn't work, now it might have been a bit tongue-in-cheek, but well, he said that he, would, he was going to pack up the game. I'd love to get back. So yeah. this is my last chance. This is it. So if I don't do it, it's the last I'll roll of the I'll probably just pack it. Because yeah. it's doing me any if really. Yeah. Last roll of the I can't. That? I think I'm, um, what is it? I try and perfect things. I think that's, I think, if you're sort of like, I think people that are prone to hips are perfectionists and hard working people. Mm. Everybody's got the hips. Yeah. Everybody has. Yeah. It's just that yeah. it's how noticeable they are, how, how more how aware you are of what you're doing, really. And, yeah. Where your attention is. I don't think you're ever cured from it. No, you're not. No, no, of course so, not. And you shouldn't actually, you shouldn't, you shouldn't expect to be either because I think that's. It's just if it's in people, isn't it? You've got to accept it. Yeah. That it's, it's a hit impulse. Yeah. And it's a reflex. So there was a lot of hinging on this lesson. <laughs> no pressure. Um, but it was a great lesson and you'll see how. It, we didn't, it didn't quite take the route that we both imagined. We actually started off by putting, and Richard came for a full swing. I mean, it'd be interesting to see what you do with other things. See if you can hit it. Look at that. Yeah, bit of a switch in there. And it was the hit reflex in the swing that was causing problems. Unbeknown to Richard, the yips is transferable through the whole game. It's not just one part of the game. There you go, and now I want to stand on that and do it. We managed to yeah. defocus Richard, which enabled him to connect more with the task <laughs> and reinvent. Very tough. So by defocusing from the actual stroke, putting stroke if you like, he could start to visualize the task and he could react to that with his movement. And you'll see very, very quickly, and even Richard says, no twitch. Suddenly, the twitch had gone. Now that is a fantastic place for us to then go into the full swing. Because these characteristics will be present in the full swing. So there's that, com there's that interference, that noise that you have to contend with. And there's conflict in the system because consciously and subconsciously there's different things going on here. Uh, consciously you're getting distracted. And then you're not quite getting the subconscious reaction that you intend. Boom. That's good. That magic, isn't it? Very good. So I want you to see now, without the target, if you can make both balls track in a straight line. Two hands? Two hands. This is how I'd normally put. Yeah. Just roll, release it in a straight line. Good. Just have a put now with that ball that cross, normally. No, no, yeah. this is how I'd normally put Whatever you do, look at that one now, look at that cross. Look at that stroke. Oh, that's a massive difference. That's perfect. It was a really interesting session. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it, how we go from the putting, literally redirect Richard onto stimulus that is going to help him organise his stroke. And then he can start to transfer that into the rest of the game. This creates a platform then for everything to naturally transfer through. And then his full swing started to flow, his movement started to ease up if you like, because when that tension is not present in the system, you can start and you're allowing yourself to move, you're accessing those natural movement ranges that you might not normally allow yourself to use. The swing takes on a different feel and a different form because you're using more of your potential just purely because you're letting the body use it instead of constraining it through trying to manipulate your movement and think about how you should swing as opposed to letting your body use what it's got to its maximum potential. And then we went on to the short game to see it transfer into the short game because obviously somebody who's yipped um, is going to 
sense that probably through the short game too and that was the case with Richard but then we saw how it naturally transferred through to his chipping and his pitching and then he could play different trajectory shots he could really immerse himself in the golf shot in the intention and let his body organize it and create new cues so we were continually re-queuing so essentially creating a whole new blueprint but that was organically constructed so it was only Richard recognizing what his body was doing that created this pattern that he recognized this was his template this was him taking ownership over his swing by just letting his body do it and then just go yeah okay yeah so what you've got to do though you, you looked back at the putter mm. don't look at the putter you're just looking where you're going yeah see how good you can get at elaborating this stroke over here yeah look at that if you can do that anything yeah because you you're now developing mastery over the, your stroke because it, you're reinventing from every, from shot to shot to shot to shot. So, and every golf put, every putt's different, so it, re, it requires innovation, it requires a reinvention what's every time. The, the stroke's not the same every time. What's making the twitch disappear? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a question I've got to Because you're focusing on what's so important. What's important, and not worrying about. Not worrying, you're yeah. not thinking about your right foot when you drive your car, pressing on the accelerator. Yeah, no, you think about where you're going. Yeah. And you can have a coffee, listen to the phone, have a conversation, yeah, yeah. but you don't crash your car. Oh, yeah. So you see, we raised the challenge, which is yeah. stressing the system, yeah. and your body came up with the, the goods. Yeah. Because you've got superb awareness. You're just not using it. So we just, we, all we did was created the environment for that to happen. And by letting Richard just connect with the shot and give him, give, him, give him an opportunity to reorganize his movement and be creative and be elaborate and express himself and he did so and you'll see the results. So I hope you enjoy the video. This is something we can all associate with and I'm sure it will resonate on many levels. So enjoy the video and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you took from the session and how it might help you. What you've done is you've allowed yourself to do something every time new, brilliant, innovative. Yeah. It's a real eye on that. Yeah. Fantastic. That's true. Flowing. That's brilliant. Mm. It's got rid of it. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going to say it's got rid of it. Of course it has. It has. has. Yeah. Mm. Pure, pure yeah. roll, isn't it, that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. That feel good. Yeah. I know we've gone off track a bit. We're doing, we're doing full swing now, but... Um, no, that's that was, interesting. That was so important. You say most people have got the probably hips in them, but it only comes out in certain people. Everyone's got it. Yeah. So why is it certain people would you say? Just how you make it's, up it's it's the, No. It's, your, it's how you've reacted to previous experience and the narrative you've created and how you've cued your movement mm -hmm. and where your tension's been. Yeah. You came here telling me about yips, telling me about what, look at this and actually showing me a yip. Oh. Almost like it's a badge. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I'm a yipper. It's like it's like you've got a yipper written on your back. Yeah. You're not, you're not uh, but you thought you were. But then at the end of the lesson, it's like you can rip the badge off because you don't have it. But it's we all have that badge. Yeah, yeah. We just don't choose to wear it. Uh, when I first started, I was quite natural with my own swing. I used claps a bit here. Okay. But that never bothered me. Uh, since I tried to get a bit wider. Okay. I've always like generally try and draw the ball if I want or fade it. But yeah. when I'm under pressure, if I want a sort of gentle fade, I yeah. can't do it. You can't. Okay. Uh, and the worst shot is like a pull low left. Okay. So, do you want me to just yeah, try play a few shots? That's a bit of a fade. Sometimes that's a shot I want yeah. and can't call on it. And I've just done it there. Try and draw it. Yeah. And a bit of a Jim Fury kind of thing. And then drop on the inside better. That's nice. Hmm. Look, Joe. Let's play big fade. What's a big fade feel like? Big fade. I'll try and open up. And I don't know if I can do it. So I'm doing it now. I'd like to be able to. Now, uh, do you want to draw? Yeah. I'll see if I can do a. Can you do a big draw? A big draw? Mm. I'll try. 
a bit stiff this morning, uh, Marcus. <laughs> You're doing all right so far. Mm. Right, a big draw. I think, you know, I, sometimes I cheat with this. Yeah. I go that way and then drop that way. Okay. So I don't know. Uh, but I'll just try. So that's how we're conditioned, you see, to think yeah. that we shouldn't do it that way. Not getting the draw. Yeah, you are. Let's let's move draw. back a bit. Let's draw it more than the one. Mm. Right. Uh, I'm trying to do a flowing, that like a flowing swing that did. That's, that's a nice shot. Nice. That's a beautiful shot. Nice shot. Now I want you to just swing back for me. Yeah. And hold your back swing. Now without looking, yeah. I want you to just move your club up and down behind you. Like yeah. you're painting the wall behind you. That's it. And I want you to feel, without looking, so you're looking that way. Mm. So you're feeling your golf club and your arms. Keep your grip pressure, but just let your arms go up and down. And I want you to find the place where you want, where you need to be. Like you can let your arms drop too, let everything, everything goes, everything moves. Find the place with that club head now behind you, keep going behind you. Mm -hmm. Where you, without stopping, you're going to feel the place you want to go for a draw and just make your draw swing. Right. So behind you first, move it up and down behind you as if you're painting the wall. Where does that need to go? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now set your setup, no ball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, now, without stopping, swing it straight to that place where you just felt. That feel different? Yeah. Bit more behind, isn't it? So straight there, back and through. That look different, Sam? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can tell. So now you've got a space you recognise. Now let's play the full shot using that space. That's a different shot. That's a lovely shot. <laughs> How far that's gone? Strike. Yeah. Bit of draw. Didn't strike yeah. on it. That feel different? It did. Oh. oh. <laughs> shot. It, yeah. What a shot. And then they tell you that all the pros I've been to, <laughs> are, you know, I don't want to know really. But <laughs> <laughs> they, all, they always talk about you come too far. Mm. Your hands behind. Yeah, but you didn't do that. I don't. Can I just ask you this question? That's bad, isn't it? No. Not bad. There's no bad or good. Oh, no. Let's go on. Yeah. We'll pass on Justin, that. Dustin Johnson does that. Yeah. And he was longest drive at the US Open. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's like, there's loads of players. I'm not, but you didn't do that though. Because you know what? The whole body move to take the club out there. Yeah. Let me just break it down into chunks. Yeah, so do that. Feel uh, where you want to go for the shot and then off. And then, then, yeah. then, and then go. And then you go to that place now and you swing, you go straight to it. that golf shot. The height, the yeah. distance. Now I want you to do the same thing for your fade. Practice swing first. Yeah. Without looking, feel where it is. So swing up, now feel where your fade is, and then swing through. Spend some time again, do it again. Just do some time, just feel like this, this is kind of, you've got a big roller, and you're just rolling a wall behind you, mm. up and down, where is this place for a fade, and then swish through to your fade. Yeah. It's your fade finish. Yeah. And now just use that space. There you go, little fade. Mm, that's that's the little fade you want. Yeah. yeah. Different feel? Yes. More freedom, maybe. Mm. More freedom. These are the words that you want to be holding on to, that you want to be re re refreshing your memory with. This is the cues, this self-talk. Fade. Fade, huh? yeah. yeah. This is the self you shot. need to be using to create the cues. Now forward press and go. Better. Wow. Nice shot. That was a better stroke. Yeah. yeah. It's flying out there, that. Mmm. Yeah, it's it's way fifty yes. with the red flag. The mound is one sixty, the back of it's one seventy. Yeah. It's just run out of pass that, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Up to the ball. Yeah, and forward press it now. Beautiful. Ah, uh, look at the flow. That's great. There's a flow to the end where you mm. pull. There's a little bit of softness at the end, and it's just it's yeah. the club's in tune with you. Yeah. It, it feels more natural. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure I've been thinking. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to chuck that back in a bit. Eh? Now go straight to that draw place. Now 
now go to your fade place. Come in. Fade. Yeah, it's not fade. Yeah, let's move them. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. great shot. Happy with that. Super shot. That was awesome. Yeah. Do you want to change club? Can I have a Dell driver? Of course you can, yeah. See if it's the same. Yeah, it's all the same. That's it. Oh, great shot. Happy with that. Ripped That's it. a beauty, isn't it? That is a beauty. It's flying. That's long. Mm. Back end at range. <laughs> Jeez. Go into that draw place. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. I'm up with that. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah. Well done. All right. I don't know. Uh, is there any time left out? You don't realize. Yeah, yeah, we have. We've got time. I don't know. Uh, we'll go do some chipping, shall we? We don't just want one shot. We've got to adapt, just like we did with the footing. Got to be able to be creative. Changing your movement, yeah. changing the finish, hold the finish. Good, now over the top of it. Back and forth. Over the ball first, that's it, then play it. Oh, I love the shot. Now I that's got 52. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Ah. Show us your repertoire now. Right. Let's see the difference in trajectories. Different way of getting to the same place. Yeah. Because you're gonna have different Brilliant. That's great. You're have different greens. Oh you're gonna hit it. Oh. Ooh. Um the topography is gonna change and from hole to hole. You're gonna be in different places. Green speed, you might have a green that rolls away, you might have a it's it's what you can do is you can adapt now. Yeah. You've got options where you're not playing the same shot. A mediocre one then, so we're going like that. That's yeah. it. Go on then. Oh, should have. Yeah. Back and through. On. That's true. Now you go. That's yeah. it. Then you've got the momentum. Look at that. It's easy, isn't it? It's like a laser. <laughs> That's a tap in. Yeah. Happy with that. That Happy. makes sense. Awesome. Mm. Yeah. Well done, Mitch. Thank you. Well done. Brilliant. Let's go. Um, 